I think the most important development has been the growth of the precariat, where class fragmentation has been sharpening. The growing millions of people who are facing a life of unstable labor, without an occupational identity, without a sense of career, having to rely on low and volatile wages without access to benefits, and losing rights, losing social, civil, cultural, political, economic rights. I think this is the most fundamental challenge before us today. And unless business and governments recognize the precariat and understand the anger and the alienation that is growing there, we're going to have serious social problems. I think that governments have to understand that they are primarily responsible for finding the solution to the growing inequality and the growing economic insecurity. I think it is inappropriate to expect business or even trade unions and business to solve what is a structural problem linked to globalization, technological changes, and the more flexible labor markets that we have. And in a way, one can say, as I've done in my new book, The Corruption of Capitalism, that rentiers, people who are taking rental incomes from owning assets and properties and so on, are fundamentally the problem because the inequality is reflecting a growing shift to forms of rent. And we need a new income distribution system as such. And that is why I favor moving towards a basic income as part of the solution. But governments must not abdicate responsibility for facing this crisis. I think a conference like this has the potential to open subjects like I'm talking about to the business community as well as other people. We heard speeches last night which conspicuously ignored the problems that I'm talking about. And I think that's, that is a mistake. I think that business, while not being directly responsible for the challenges we face, are an important avenue for articulating the need for governments and international agencies to address these structural problems for the sake of business, for the sake of market economy, and for the sake of our society and our citizens. So I think this is a very good opportunity for broadening the debate, and it's very interesting that this year in particular, business communities all over the world are suddenly finding necessary to address these problems, and I welcome that, and I think this is a, a, a fundamentally good type of conference in which to explore these issues. I think if business ignores it, the problems will only increase. The precariat challenges will get worse, the anger and disillusion will get worse, and part of it will continue to drift to vote for neo-fascist populist politicians and programs, which I think are a threat to all of us, our civilization, our civility, our, our sense of belonging. And we're seeing that in all countries, including Poland, including my own, including the United States with Donald Trump and so on. And I think it's up to business to add its voice to the need to step back and address the inequalities and insecurities out there.